Do you know how much you love the Lord? That might actually seem like a strange question to ask someone to consider. Shouldn't we be thinking about how much the Lord loves us? Absolutely. And that maybe makes it even more striking that the Apostle Paul, when he talks to his friends in Corinth, speaks about this, about how much they love the Lord and how he helped them see just how committed they were. The path to that destination ran through a, I think you could say it was certainly godly direction, loving rebuke, telling them there was something that they hadn't done that they needed to do. In putting together 2 Corinthians and 1 Corinthians, it seems very likely that what Paul is referring to in 2 Corinthians was a rebuke he gave to his, his friends in that city it was an act of immorality that not even the pagans did. and So the Corinthian congregation had to address this. And as, as they addressed this, it was hard. One could imagine the difficulty of having to talk to someone who had done something that was very wrong. And in the process of doing that, a blessing came. Listen to Paul's words to the Corinthians. Even though I wrote to you, It was not on account of the one who did the wrong or of the injured party, but rather that before God you could see for yourselves how devoted to us you are. Paul asked them to do this, not primarily on account of, we got to get the guy who did the wrong thing, and not primarily on account of, we, we have to protect the one who is being injured in this process. He did it, primarily, so that the people of God could see just how committed they were to the truth. In this case, how committed they were to the messengers of the truth, how committed they were to God. And as they followed through on the hard thing, they could now look back and say, wow, you know, we really do love the Lord. We're willing to put our necks out there. How much do you love the Lord? You love the Lord a lot. Are there some hard things that you know the Lord is asking you to do that you've been putting off, that you've been hesitant to take on? Consider that God can have a wonderful blessing as he asks you to do what he has told you to do in his word, to do that hard thing that maybe is on your mind. That as he gives you the strength to do it, the day can come when you will look back and say, wow, thank you, Lord. You've helped me see just what kind of love you have planted in my heart for you as you gave me the strength to do that, that very hard thing. And as you reflect on the love that the Lord has created in your own heart, you will have just one more reason to give thanks to the gracious God who has loved you first.